Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming. Thanks for tuning in to another video. I've gotten a lot of requests for some more lives, and those will be coming soon enough. I just want to try to make sure I have time to do them. A lot of times uh, I get in and I just start doing the live, and uh, I don't exactly have the, the right amount of time to be able to, to do them. That's why I've had to cut them off. And also I've been told that scheduling them out could be uh, very helpful for actually getting good participation. I'm fully connected in with the Ethernet cord now. I've lowered the bitch rate, so hopefully we won't have the lagging issues like we had in the, the last video. But for those of you uh, wondering about the Machop winner, I did put that in the description of the last video. I didn't say that in the video, but it is there. I'm also going to put it into the description of this video until somebody claims it. And then, uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. So we have some consignment stuff. We are going to open up some Pokemon Go packs at the very end. I doubt that we are actually going to get the cards that we need, or the one card that we need, which was the Rainbow Rare Blanche. But if we do, then we'll go ahead and get that winner for the Pokemon Go Packmaster set as well. I'm excited to give that away, and then we'll move on to another set. Now all of this stuff that you're seeing here, it's, it's up for consignment. CS18 will be in the title. I believe I didn't show it in the last one, but this Polyrath right here actually has a little chip in the top. It's not very prominent. It definitely doesn't affect the grade, but I want to mention it because a lot of people want to have their cases in really nice shape as well as um, the card. The case is there to protect the card, and, and in that case it actually did its job. Next up we have, actually I've got a, something I want to try. There we go. I've got another camera set up for some bigger items. Like this right here we have um, you can see it, it's a blister pack, but it's in really rough shape. You can actually see where it's lifting off here at the bottom on both sides. The pack itself is sealed, but in transit, you got hurt over here looking off, off to the left and back and side and stuff. But yeah, so that was one of the bigger items. And in fact, there's another, let me go ahead and show that one while we've got this up. Got a, an unleashed heart gold soul silver unleashed booster box and this one was actually in spanish i thought it was portuguese but it's actually spanish you can see right there where it's got the indentation on the left side the same guy sent in several booster packs so we have some ruby sapphire i don't know much about the weights for this set but 17.53 Four nine. Most of these ruby sapphire were kind of in the same range. Septile seventeen point five one. I put number one because the other septile ruby sapphire sapphire pack actually had the exact same. Yeah, it had the exact same weight. Manetric. A couple more there, and all the titles have the weights in them, so you don't have to remember them here if you're wanting to bid on that stuff. Fossil first edition. Thanks again to Pokemon DNA who's been editing these videos. These, I think, may actually have a really good shot at having a hollow. See right there, that Lapras said 21.37, 21.21, 21.39. Still not guaranteed because these, these didn't come from a steel booster box where I could weigh them out against others. I have a, a ring light in the background and it's emitting off like a little bit of a noise. It's pretty close to my mic. I tried to back it off, but uh, Pokemon DNA has been having to figure that out and edit it out of the videos. I tried lowering the bitrate or the FPS, whatever. I, I'm not even sure what the hell I say all this stuff so that uh, it wasn't as bad on his editing side. But I think he's doing a great job. I don't know about you guys. And uh, continue to give feedback. I really like this new setup, and we're gonna. I'm gonna have a few other features added in in time. This one right here, I remember grading a lot of these. These come from those tins, and um, it was like the window tins that were like 25 bucks instead of the, the regular $20 retail. But it's really nice artwork. And there's the regular one from Unified Minds. Got two Pikachu's. A lot of people talked about this one. I didn't actually ever see this particular promo in hand myself because this is one of the items when I got it. I had it broken down and immediately sent to Troll and Toad. Scissor VMAX. Nice Shining Gyarados, a Shining Magikarp. These are the first two Shinings. Then Neo Destiny had the Shining Mewtwo, and then we have Umbreon. So some of the chase cards from all the Neo sets. And before we get into opening, I'm going to show you guys what I plan to send off to CGC. 
So I pulled some of the cards that uh, we've already that we already pulled in the Pokemon Go openings. I'm gonna send in one of the skyscraper Mewtwo Vs, a couple of V stars. Now I did not go through any of the cards that were in the binder. The first ones that were pulled, those were the ones that were stuck in the binder. So if you guys remember, I think one of the Radiant Charizards was in really nice shape. A couple of Radiant Venusaur, the Blastoise, the Radiant Eevee. I thought I had broken down, but yeah, I've got several of these. So I haven't shown you guys these, uh, that promo yet, but I think it looks really nice. One Dragonite V. Then I'm going to send off several of the Dragonite V stars. It's not going to be a ton of cards. I'm going to just send off 25 cards. Yeah, and then finally, of course, we're going to do the Radiant Charizards. We got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to send off six of them. Now, for the actual video, we've got some Pokemon Go packs. Yesterday, or two days ago, well, I'm not sure when this video is going to go live. We got really lucky and we pulled back to back Radiant Charizards. Um, so I will take that all day. However, we're still looking for that Rainbow Rare Blanche. Lapras Hollow. Code should be active now. So for those of you who are getting them, hopefully you can go ahead and go online and uh, redeem yourself code for Pokemon Go. Gyarados and a Dragonite V. We'll set the hits up in the background. Which I think these were a few codes that I had forgotten to show. Well, those are celebration codes. I had opened up a few packs just to see how the, uh, the quality was on camera. And a lot of people saying that their chase card for this set was the Skyscraper Mewtwo. I'm not even sure what you call it, but <laughs> that's what a lot of people were, were, were calling it on uh, Instagram. And I can see that. I mean, it's Mewtwo within Skyscrapers. Mine was definitely the Radiant Charizard, and we pulled a lot of them. You know, it took forever to pull that one. It was the last Radiant that we pulled, but then we pulled a ton in a row. I need to get used to, like, Cool Train Ryan just flipping the stuff back so I don't waste all that extra time. I'm taking my hands off camera. A little bit of wrist action. Man, I wish he didn't cuss so much. I could watch his videos all the time. Man, that's three lappers. A lot of these cards seem to be grouped together. Overall, the set is, uh, it's small. It's what a lot of people have been wanting to have. Heard a lot of people complaining about how many cards are in these modern sets. 200 plus, plus the reverse hollows, alternate arts taking forever to get in. I'm not sure which set is the biggest one. I know it took years to break the record, which had been set back in Aquapolis, and then Sky Ridge was pretty close. I believe it was Aquapolis. Expedition had 165 plus the reverse hollows. Aquapolis had, I want to say, 150. Another Lapras with 147 reverse hollows. But it also had the 32 hollow rares. Sky Ridge had the 144, or had 150 plus 100, it might be 150 reverse hollows with Sky Ridge. Because all the crystals had reverse hollows, so it may have been Sky Ridge. I want to say it was a Quaffles though. Maybe the A and B Pokemon had made a difference and it just slightly edged out Sky Ridge. But those were, you know, the biggest sets. To this day, not many people have completed them. All right, we've got us a Radiant Venusaur. I think this is our third Radiant Venusaur that we've pulled. Pulled a Blastoise with it, too. Maybe Pokemon DNA, if you're watching this, you can edit in. Or you probably already did. If uh, either you did or you didn't by this point. Put the, the actual set 
numbers in there. I'm not sure what, like I said, I'm not sure which set is the biggest now. But it's definitely the Sword Shield or Sun and Moon era. And with the alternate arts, gosh, I heard, I've heard of people opening up like a hundred boxes and still not having the entire set. Which is crazy to think about. It used to be with base set, you had 15 hollows you could pull from the pack. There's 16 hollows in the set, and the champ you couldn't pull from the pack. So, out of the 16 hollows, you could pull 15 of them in a box. You could get one hollow in every three packs. So, the approximate odds, if you didn't get duplicates, which you could get duplicates, but still, your approximate odds at pulling any given holographic card within a booster box was 4 out of 5, 80%. Because you'd pull 12 hollows, and there were 15 hollows in the set. Now, over the years, of course, that's changed. Jungle had 16 hollows, but you could get all 16 within the set. Fossil had 15 hollows. That one actually went down one. Man, the hits are not rolling like they were yesterday. When you got the base set too, I think that was the most we'd seen at this point. It was, I believe, I want to say it was 20 hollows for that set, Zapdos being the last one. But it was a, um, it was a combination reprint. Of mostly, it was it was base set, and then it was either jungle or fossil. I think one of the sets was excluded. Venusaur. I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but from the older sets, the number four spot, the number four card, was always a chase card. So like in base set, the chase card was Charizard, and it was number four out of 102. Yeah, let's put that one in the background. Then you get the jungle, and I want to say, I want to say it was Jolteon for jungle. And back in the day, that was a card that you wanted to get. I might have to fact check myself on that on the jungle one. You had Clefable, you had Electrode, Flareon, and then I think Jolteon. I think that was the first four. And then when you get to Fossil, Dragonite. Dragonite's number four. When you get to base set two, I want to say Charizard is number four again, four out of 130. Nice, we got some full art. You get to Team Rocket, guess what number four is? Dark Charizard. It's 4 out of 82. And I can't remember for Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge. Follow the same trend, but like in those original sets, that's where it was. Come on, Rainbow Rare Blanche. Got us a reverse holo Charizard. It's not bad. But if you look at Pokemon Go, I guess I rambled all the way around. We're going to come back to my original point. It's got a 78 card set and then I believe it has I think lore module is the last card that's number 87 87 or 88. You have the ditto which doesn't have reverse hollow all the V's none of that and the radiance those don't have reverse hollows but all the other regular cards do. Oh look we got a reverse hollow error pack this is the third time that I've opened one of these. That first one uh, that was like this, we pulled a uh, Mewtwo V-Star, if you guys remember that. The second time, I was recording, talking to myself, and it ended up being a Dragonite V. Another Charizard. We're not pulling the Radiant Charizards this time, but we're getting the regular Charizards. I was going to send off some holographic Charizards to CGC, but I just know how tough they are on the 10s, and I'll be honest, most of my Charizards... They were centered okay, condition was okay, but they didn't uh, look that great. I, I just wasn't expecting them to pull the pin. I was listening to Old School Pokemon, and he said he pulled every card that, from the Pokemon Go set within 500 packs. So that's about half as many as PokeRev. Somebody said it was 895, someone else said it was 914. I don't know what it is. 
Once we run out of this stack, we will go over the hits and I'll also open up a couple of extra packs that are not Pokemon Go just so that we have something different. So stick around to the end and you'll get to see it. Oh, nice. We have another Skyscraper Mewtwo. Look at that. I had one that was pulled. It had white dots all over the background. It kind of reminded me of Primal Clash. Primal, XY Primal Clash is when they changed over the pull rates from approximately four Ultra Rares in a box to six. And so it was about, instead of one in six, it was one in four. But they also introduced the Mega Full Arts. Up to that point, you had some Megas, but they were, uh, they weren't textured. The Articuno. And they had the Mega Primal Groudon, the Mega Primal Kyogre. Those were highly popular cards. They had the Hoenn Collection, where you could get the uh, Jumbo cards and get some pins. They had so much centered around... Now the charms are nice. They had so many things that were centered around Kyogre and Groudon. But uh, in fact, I believe the Groudon was very playable and made it into one of the World Championship decks for that year, or maybe it was the following year. Um, but anyways, they had a lot of print issues similar to that, where they had the texture on the back side. You would see these little white dots of the texture, and that continued for years afterwards. Now, I'm not sure about the reprints. I know that they did reprint Primal Clash the same time they did a uh, reprint for, believe it or not, I heard someone say this the other day that XY Base didn't get a reprint, but in fact it did get a reprint. It had a small reprint, but they did that. Primal Clash, Ancient Origins. I'm not, I think this is separate from the time that they did uh, Roaring Skies. Because Roaring Skies reprint, that was standalone. Oh, look at an upside down card. The Blanche. Maybe it's a... Uh, Maybe it's trying to tell us something. We're going to get in these last two packs. Now, I was talking with one guy. Um, he's going to be a mod now for the channel. Got Pokey Dak. I think that's his brother. But it's uh, that guy, Marshall Law, who was giving all the super chats. He was uh, showing me how. I can uh, put a form in the chat and you guys sign up for a giveaway and we can do a giveaway right in the middle of the video. So I'm going to look into that and hopefully get that kind of thing added. And uh, I've got a lot of uh, PSA slabs that I don't plan on selling. Maybe we could just start giving away that stuff randomly if I can get it down. Alright, so you guessed it. Celebrations. I'm going to open up a few packs here. See if we pull anything. Got two packs to open up. Maybe we'll get something nice out of it. It's a code for somebody. All right, Palkia. Veltal Cosmog and nothing. No good there. Like I said, we'll look at these cards here at the very end. So this is the last pack for the video. I appreciate all of you, whether or not you tuned in in the beginning and watched the whole video, or you're just gonna watch the last five seconds. Ooh, wow, I hate to end on that, but I'm out of packs. I'm out of packs in front of me. All right, so in this video, we pulled the Skyscraper Mewtwo, probably one of the, that would probably be the best hit. I had some Charizards, Reverse Holo Charizard, Full Art, some regular Vs, got a nice Radiant Venusaur. That was probably my second favorite card. So nothing too crazy, but still, I'm glad you guys tuned in. We are still trying to pull that Rainbow Rare Blanche. Uh, hopefully, we'll get it in the next uh, video that I do. If not then, alive. All right, thanks guys.